Hello YouTubers, welcome to the channel and please subscribe if you haven't yet. So in this video we're going to be flipping a house in seven days and uh, making a lot of money doing it and having some fun. So I'm going to show some videos on here of how to flip a house in seven days and get paid. So this property in particular is 38 Charles Street here in Nova Scotia. And we will be, uh, the first videos will be the before uh, and then during and then of course the after one with some notes in between. Thanks for watching. Okay, so today we, it's our first day in our flip house. I'm gonna take a quick little break and give you a tour of one of the flip houses that we just bought. Now, over the next few um, videos I post, I'll go over how to flip a house pretty quickly. Okay, so this one here is gonna be one of our rental properties. I will rent out. So first thing you want to do when you come into the house, number one thing, clean the toilet. <laughs> hey, put a new toilet seat on. Reason being, you might have to go to the bathroom. Step number two, which I just completed, I'm gonna get all those nails off every single wall in the whole house and get them ready to be washed. Then you're gonna wash all the walls after we cover the floor. We got our heavy duty construction stuff to put down. Sorry, I'm a little tired here. And then we're gonna wash all these walls with some Javix to get all the smoke off of them. Okay, so that was the before, uh, right after buying the property, a little quick tour of it. So before I bought the property, obviously I go in and appraise the property and make sure that I'm getting some good value in that my repairs are going to be worth it. So how you do that, you look at the past uh, properties on that street and in that immediate area, see what they sold for and see what kind of style the houses were, see what kind of shape they're in you know look through the pictures on uh, the mls system and find out like what are people are expecting for what price they're getting on that neighborhood so look up and down the street look at the homes that are beside it and see what they're worth and if you can find a property that's undervalued and that when you do your repairs your repairs plus the purchase price and there's still some room for profit then it's a good buy so, and then, you know, get a contractor in just to get a second idea of the actual price that it's going to take. So on this property, there isn't really much for me to do other than paint um, some minor electrical and, you know, making it look nice. So buying it for $35,000 seemed like a pretty decent deal when the rest of the prices in the neighborhood were over $100,000. So to me, it's a no-brainer and obviously I bought it right after looking at it because it was a good deal. Okay, this is day three on our flip house. So we'll go over everything that's done and some good tips. So today we got uh, all this gray got painted so the whole foundation around the property got done. Started the roof, you can still see some shingles up on the other side that are gonna be put on later. Built a new deck today looks great old deck new deck and most important thing we got all those weeds out and mowed the lawn so you can actually see that it actually has a pretty nice yard so this is the longer version the Instagram version is the one minute version this is probably gonna be two or three minutes so we'll see how fast I can talk so it's pretty dark now Sun setting, but get some lights on so 
number one, when you do one of these properties, you know, we painted the ceilings today everywhere. And uh, if your ceiling color is going to be lighter than the other paint colors, you don't need to paint or leave a uh, paint tape all the way across. So you can see I was pretty sloppy with the roller. Go all the way up to it with the roller and then use your brush alongside it. Don't do the trim work first. If you do that first, you might be surprised how close the roller will get to the actual wall and you'll be wasting some time. And like I said, if the paint color is gonna be lighter or darker than the ceiling color, you don't really need to worry about it coming down because the other paint cover is gonna cover it. But if you do get some drips from the ceiling, just make sure you take your paintbrush and just kind of bash them down because then you won't want it to sand those out later. So other tips for today, you know, if you're keeping the floors, make sure they're all covered. So you can see in the kitchen, we didn't even cover it because that floor is going to get ripped out and it's going to get tiled. So there's no point wasting time covering it. So down here, uh, first thing, if you're painting above your head, make sure you use glasses, drink lots of water. Um, use your paint can all the way till it's done, even the lid. You, know, you just take your paintbrush, get all the excess off of it, and you can actually do a lot of trim work uh, doing that. Then at the end of the day, make sure you clean out the roller just with some water, wash it all out, then put it in a uh, just a plastic bag overnight, and you can use it again tomorrow. And then wash out this too, the plastic part, and then it'll be brand new. And you can keep using it. I've probably used that exact one for a few years now. Uh, second, Popcorn ceilings are horrible, personal note. You'll end up with it everywhere, all over your hair, everywhere. Never ever have a paint popcorn ceiling there, just a nightmare. Second tip for today, we live in a very nice neighborhood here. Make sure you go say hi to your neighbors. Hopefully this is dry before I step on it. So that neighbor over there, Sheila, said hi to her today. Talk to those guys, all nice people. Let them know who you are and what you're up to. These are the people that will, you know, hopefully sell your house and help you sell it or keep an eye on your property when you're not here. So always say hello to the neighbors. Plus, they kind of want to know what's going on in these properties. When you're working on it. So that's day three. We got a lot of work done. Really happy. Super exhausted. It was a hot day. But tomorrow's a new day. We're going to get the rest of the painting done on the trim uh, and on the ceiling. Let's do the second coat. And then take a break for a day and then come back and do the walls. That's it for day three. So you really want to schedule your contractors in and make sure the schedule flows well with what you're doing on the property that day. So if you're painting inside, you can have people up on the roof doing the roof for you as you're painting and you're not going to be overstepping them in any way and getting in their way. Um, so just make sure when you do hire contractors that the schedule makes sense for the work that needs to be done that day. And of course we were painting away a mile per minute and had guys on the roof getting the roof done that day. So it worked out pretty good. And here we are in our flip house. This is day four and five. And it was paint, 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 and paint some more. Luckily, I had help. Audie came and helped out and moved this project along. We even hung the new chandelier for the living room. And as you can tell, it's all changed color. Yay! Where it used to be red is all beige. And in here was this baby blue. Oh, we still have some of the color there. It's changed too, but this whole room down here is all in red. And now it's not. So two days of painting. Coat after coat after coat. But it's coming along. Tomorrow we're doing the shingling. Gonna just finish a few more of the outside projects for the weekend and then finish the interior. Okay, this is day seven and eight. I think it's like 10:30 at night. Let me give you a tour. New floor. Kitchen's looking good. New backsplash. Small kitchen, but things are getting done. New lights. All the walls have been painted. 
So this will look a hundred times better. Somewhat. It's coming. So anyways, over the last two days, we got the roof done. Finished up on the outside. Finished up on the inside. Now we only got touch-ups to do. All the bedrooms are painted and done. Bathroom's been painted. Next we're going to do the tub and do the floor. All the bedrooms are done. Yay! And there's Audie, my big helper for the last two days. Say hello. And this is where I've been sleeping for the last two nights to try to get this project over with. And that's it. There's only two days left and we're out of here. Okay, so here we are at 38 Charles Street and we're almost done. We got the flowers there. Got the floor done. Just putting in the electric baseboard heat. Kitchen's done. Backsplash is in. I did a great job. Whole kitchen's ready. New lights. There they are. Now I'm going to take my shoes off because I'm just in the middle of cleaning all these other rooms. But they got done. Which is the goal. So here you go. Pretty much the finished product. Say hi, Audie. Hi. 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 Bathroom. We're very happy. Yeah. You put uh, this little thing up for people. Bathrooms. Done. The room we're in. Done. We're just running our electrical for the baseboard. And that's it. Yeah. And that's a whole house. Okay, so this is the finished product. I'll show you everything in the house. Uh, we just got the appraisal done today. It came in at $89,000, which is a static. And uh, we got we had two offers. One didn't work out because of his mortgage financing, but the other one seems like it's gonna work out. So, you know, we bought the house for 35. We put about uh, $15,000 into the property after ripping out that bathroom, which I didn't expect to do. And uh, yeah, so on 50,000, sold it for 89, providing the sale goes through. Pretty damn good profit. $39,000 profit in uh, about one month. You know, um, after you get an offer, it does take a little while to, you know, get the whole thing wrapped up. So it'll be another week or so before it's all said and done and the money's in the bank. But that's it. So very exciting day. This is 38 Charles Street. You know, project we started in August 1st. And we are finally 100% done. We were done maybe a month ago, but the buyer took uh, a few weeks just to close on the deal. Get our mortgage wrapped up and everything else. But this is the finished product, pretty much. We handed in the keys to uh, to Erica, the buyer, about maybe an hour ago. Uh, did one more set of caulking around the new tub, which needed to be finished. And uh, we ended up ripping out that whole tub, the old one, putting a brand new one in. So that got done. Erica has the keys, and we're moving on. So project uh, went pretty quick. But like I said, sometimes people need a little more time to, when to uh, close on a house. And, that was the case here, so it did take an extra month just to close on it, but in all in all, really good deal, and now it's time to pick up the check. Okay, yay, house is done! You know, I think it took about uh, seven days after you, you know, take away the days that I took off. It was seven days of actual work that I was there at the property. And uh, so to sell the house, what you want to do is put your own for sale sign up in the window or on the front lawn. And do your own marketing. Don't go to a realtor. Um, I always buy my houses through a realtor. They're really great to work with. But the problem is all they do is they put the house up on the MLS system. And they just let it sit there. They're great at picking up the phone. And then it's like talking to a third party. So details always get lost. And time just seems to stand still with some of them. So I go on uh, Craigslist and Kijiji. Uh, Facebook. I do all of that and do my own marketing. For the property and find the buyer and even help them with the mortgage if they need assistance there uh, to get the property sold and move fast so after about a week of uh, marketing that property online i got two offers and one of them went through and it took about a month to close on that actual deal uh, before i got the check from the lawyer which was pretty good and we profited uh, about thirty nine thousand dollars on that property alone so it was a very good uh, seven days and it was a lot of fun. You know, I work with uh, my girlfriend 
and we do everything ourselves pretty much except for the big work you know I hired out to do the roof because I'm horrified of heights if you didn't know that and uh, and then obviously the electrical has to be hired out because you know I don't want to run the risk of someone house burning down or something because I did a horrible wiring job so that was hired out as well uh, but the project was really good it was a lot of fun and you know we did it pretty quickly and made a lot of money you know probably more money than uh, most people can make you know even in a year we could do it in seven days so hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe you know more subscribers is always welcome and we're gonna be doing more flips and I promise the video will be even better I got a better camera now to be able to do them and shoot them and we'll also be handling uh, day trading uh, commodities and uh, even doing flips with larger apartment buildings so it will be interesting so please subscribe and watch thank you